everyone, Aaron here. And uh, today I'm talking a little bit about uh, selling a home in autumn and what you need to know. And uh, we actually just got back from uh, a farm out in Glastonbury and uh, it was a nice day for it. Got to take a hayride, stuff like that. Had an open house this morning and it uh, didn't go as good as I wanted it to, but hey, that's just how things work. And uh, so I figured people are starting to put their house on the market for the fall time, try to get it sold before the holidays. Uh, no, just a regular real estate video, babe. That's okay. I was say hi. Uh, you can still say hi. So, uh, no. So, uh, so I wanted to talk quickly, like I said, about selling a home in the autumn and uh, what you need to know. He's going to talk quickly about that. Mm, yes, quickly. Better listen. It's good stuff. <laughs> All right, come on. Dad, I want to say No, hi. I don't want you on here right now. Okay, so um, you guys might know something a little bit different. I'm wearing my uh, new glasses today. I just got these from Zenny, and uh, they are actually pretty nice. They are only like 60 bucks delivered, and uh, I got a really bad prescription, so I had to pay like an extra 20 bucks for them. But it's nice to kind of give my eyes a break because I had a nice pair that when we went to New York, long story short, I left in the hotel and never to be seen of again. So I wasn't about to dump a bunch of money on glasses that. I could possibly lose so I got these bad boys for like 60 bucks they came today and so far they're pretty comfortable but anyways let's get back into uh, what we were talking about today and uh, so uh, basically there's three things that you want to look for uh, when it comes to selling a home in the autumn now the autumn market can sometimes provide to be a difficult market because some people don't really want to buy until after the holidays and then there's some people that want to get a home before the holidays so these three tips hopefully will help you get your home sold quickly and for top dollar if you are putting it on the market now. So the first one is you have to set a um, competitive price from day one. So a lot of clients I meet with have a pipe dream of what they think their house is worth to what it really is worth. And for some of the more difficult clients, I'll say, hey, that's right. You want to you wanna list it at a certain price, we'll put it on the market for, let's say, 200000 The house might only be worth 185 on a good day so I'll say sure let's put it on the market for the first two weeks at uh, 200 and if we don't get any uh, bites on it then we're gonna do a price, price adjustment and we're gonna lower the price so you want to make sure that you have a real good market price for your home based on other homes that are sold within the area usually no more than a half mile from your residence unless you're in an area where you have um, you know, there's a lot of acreage, so you might be, you know, three or four miles in between homes or something like that. Not really going to find that too much in Connecticut, but again, you want to keep it to the localized market for your area. You know, if you're on one side of town and the other side of town sells a little bit hotter and for a higher price, you can't really use those comps for what you have where you are. So you want to make sure it's, it's um, competitively priced to make sure that you know, you are maybe offering some buyer concessions and that sort of thing. Uh, you may even want to go out and get a home appraisal done before you even have anybody come and put it on the market or if you sell it for yourself as a for sale by owner because that way there you can say, listen, I just had an appraisal done from a third party person. This is what it appraised for. The next thing you want to do is you make sure you want to clean your home inside and out. So if you haven't power washed your home yet, power wash the outside, rake up leaves, make sure it still has that curb appeal that it would have had in the springtime or in summer, but you wanna make sure it's set up for the fall, maybe even some fall decorations, some mums, some pumpkins, maybe some corn stalks on the light post, something along those lines to make it pleasing to the eye when you show up. And then the same thing on the inside, if you have a ton of stuff on your walls, you wanna kinda of declutter. If you have a lot of tchotchkes and knickknacks, you wanna start packing those things up so the house appears bigger than maybe what it is and it makes it appear a lot cleaner than it would be if you had a bunch of stuff out on built-in shelves and that sort of thing. And you know, there's nothing wrong with hiring somebody to help you do that if you're not really that well of an organized person or even having a cleaning company come in and clean maybe uh, a day or two before a, uh, a big open house or something along those lines, which are always great things. And it helps get rid of any smells that might be in the house, pet odors and that sort of thing. I have two dogs and no matter how much I clean, I would have to clean every day. That's Morgan blowing her slide whistle back there. And then the other thing you wanna make sure you do, and you know, if you wanna sell your home on your own, you know, go for it, that's a lot of work. But I would definitely hire the uh, real estate agent uh, to help you through this process and to guide you and to give you their personal expertise on things. Short so, and sweet, babe. I'm trying. Everybody keeps interrupting me and I got kids blowing whistles, but this is what it's like when we got so many people here. Ava, go in the other room, please. So, 
Anyways, those are my three tips. And again, make sure you have yourself a real good real estate agent that is in the area, that knows the area, that knows the market, that can help you stage your home. They can do the advertising that you need. So again, make sure you have that agent that is really familiar with the area, that can help you with the staging, that can help you with the marketing, that's not just gonna throw it up on the MLS and put a sign out in your front of your house. Morgan is very talkative today. So those are my three tips for selling your home in the autumn time frame and right before the holidays. Now remember we only got 11 weeks left or 11 weekends before Christmas. So that means Thanksgiving's coming even faster. So you wanna make sure that if you are gonna put it on the market to reach out to somebody like myself that's a real estate agent in the area and to have them come by and evaluate your home and tell you what you may need to do in order to get it sold quickly for a top dollar. So thanks again for watching the video. I appreciate it. Have yourself a great weekend. Bye.